Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the George Harrison Vinyl Collection. It's been a couple weeks but I finally got my order today shipped to my door from Music Direct. They had the best price that I could find online so let's open it up and take a look. There's kind of a smashed corner here, but I've noticed from other unboxing videos that these are packaged pretty well. So, as you can see here, they got the nice styrofoam. So let's pull these off. Now you can see the edge. Alright, the big reveal. There it is. And as you see here on the front cover, they have this nice slip piece on there. And on the back it shows all the information and albums that you get. And if you notice this front here, we just turn it, we got a transition there between young and old, older George. This side here again we got all the albums that are included here. There's the back. Side the same again. So let's it's very heavy too. It, the shipping weight was like 20 pounds or something, so it's a lot a lot of weight to this. This is very heavy cardboard too that they used here so that's nice and well protected. All right, starting off with the first album we get here is Wonderwall Music. And each album I should mention is in these plastic protective sleeves. So I just want to make sure when I take these out that I don't lay the album down on top there, otherwise I'll get it stuck and ruined. There's a reproduction of the inner sleeve on all of these, the original sleeve. And then the album itself is in its own Poly lined sleeve here, so very protected. So, to save time, I won't put these back in their plastic, I'll just set them aside and do that later. Next up, we have Electronic Sound from 1969. was on the Zapple label. As you can see there we got Zapple. Uh, 
Now, next up from 1970, you have All Things Must Pass. And this is in shrink, so I'll have to open that up quick. Quick, but carefully. There we go. Nice gold lettering there. I'm not sure how well that'll show up on the video. <clears throat> and here we have a copy of the poster. Again, I don't need to show all three of these, but we got replicas of the inner sleeves. And both of these are on the red apple, the apple jam. Following that we have 1973's Living in the Material World. Very glossy front cover here. And in this side Dark horse here. Okay. <laughs> the lyrics. On this side we have just this gold sleeve. Next up from 1974 is Dark Horse. Here we have a replica of the original sleeve with all the different people that have played on the album. As well as a lyric sheet. And here we have the album with a light blue center label. I've heard some people say that their original copy was, this was uh, black and white, but I have one of his original albums, and it is light blue like this, so I don't know which is actually correct. After that, we have from 1975, Extra Texture, and speaking of texture, this album does have 
a texture to it, it almost embossed a little bit. As you can see, this is the, the die cut version. These are all cut out. Oh, not him again. <laughs> well, let's see here. Okay, that does it for the Apple years. So following that, we have his first Dark Horse Records release, 33 and a third. Fold here. Nothing on that side. Here we have the. It's probably hard to see in this lighting, but. Course label. Following that, we have in 1979 George Harrison's self titled record. Sorry about getting a lot of glare on there, but... Here we have the sleeve again with the lyrics. Then from 1981, somewhere in England. <clears throat> I noticed they didn't go with the original album cover here. They went with the second version. Again is the sleeve with the lyrics. One thing I know someone pointed out on one of the forums I was looking at for the track listing. Oh, let's see here. Have the first song is Teardrop without an S. Should be Teardrops. Not sure if that's the way it was on the original album or if that's just a printing mistake on this copy, but interesting. 1982 we got Gontrapo.
There's thank yous here for everybody and the lyrics. And again, just the standard Dark Horse label. In 1987, we got Cloud Nine. There's our original sleeve again. We got Ringo, and we got Jeff Lynn and Eric Clapton, Elton John. The standard label again. And from that will go this way from 1992. Got George Harrison live in Japan. Very nice cover with the gloss here. With Eric Clapton. This here is a double album. And we have record one and two. And from 2002, his final album, Brainwashed. From what I understand, the original of this on vinyl is pretty hard to find. Luckily, I actually bought this on vinyl when it first came out. Gatefold. On this side we have a booklet. custom labels on this as well. And here we have the bonus picture discs. Give me a moment here, I'll open this up. The similar box as the All Things Must Pass. Inside they got his mixing board there. And there's a nice protective foam here. And there's a sheet included here. The 
let's see. Basically got the credits for the box set here. picture disc here we have When We Was Fab. Pretty fab looking picture disc. And here we see we got When We Was Fab, Zigzag, That's the Way It Goes, and When We Was Fab. And the second disc here is Got My Mind Set on You, the extended version. And the single version, along with Lay His Head. There's the inside of the box. <clears throat> now I did watch an unboxing of this with uh, that Rockboy 680 did. And I noticed he pulled out a download card inside the box, but apparently in the U.S. we don't get that. So, there you have it. That was a quick run through of the George Harrison vinyl collection. And uh, now it's time for me to put these all back and enjoy them. See you next time.